first and foremost let me get my notion up hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Melka. if you're new here i film fashion lifestyle and work related content today's video is going to focus on goal setting manifestations reflections from 2022 and yeah just overall planning for the upcoming year so like i said i have my notion pulled up i really want to give you guys a notion tour and i'll do like a screen recording of my laptop so you guys can see what's going on but i put a lot of work into this template like it took me hours it took me a couple of days to even like get used to the new platform i've always been a pen and paper person this is my manifestation journal this is my bullet journal for my like daily planner and it lasted me a whole year actually i've only used half which is amazing so i'm gonna use the same bullet journal for 2023 we're gonna focus on notion today and then we're also gonna talk a little bit about manifestation and this is a journal i use i've been using it since august 8th 2021 so a year and a half ago now anywho we'll get into this stuff a little bit later in the video first let's focus on notion okay and then I go into my dashboard and then it's categorized in daily, life, and person. So under daily, I have agenda. And then I have my content planner. And this is where I do everything TikTok and YouTube related when it comes to brainstorming some ideas, my links, future clubs, just like a YouTube calendar tracker where I just input filming days, type of videos supposed to go up, filming days for TikTok, etc. And then I have a habit tracker. I love this. I love being able to check things off. That's why I have my bullet journal. I just make little check cubes and then like check things off on a daily basis. I love setting like mini daily goals for myself that I want to achieve. For instance, drink one liter of water, sleep before 12 a.m., work out, or at least get like to 7,000 steps in, film or edit my YouTube videos, and then have two healthy meals a day. And then for life, I have 2023 goals and reflections. Then I also have travel plans. And then I have personal, I have a monthly tracker where I just track my monthly expenses. And then I have a shopping list for when I go grocery shopping. And then recipes, which I don't use that much. I want to use it a little bit more. So let's get into this portion of the video where I plan for my coming year. And there's just something about starting fresh in the new year and just creating a whole new rhythm for yourself. So I'm super excited. This is actually the first year I'm setting all my goals on Notion. In the previous years, I would always write it out on a piece of paper or just have my vision board, etc. And then write everything else like in my notes or something. I've created different categories for everything. I have my reflections. There are two different things, my reflections. I, I reflect about 2022 everything i've overcome everything i've achieved and i list those out and then i talk about my future life goals and this is not my 2023 goals this is just my big scary goals i know it's gonna happen it's just a matter of time and then for 2023 i have different categories once again i have health and fitness i have personal development i have career growth i have family and relationships, finance, and I have content creation. So then I also categorize the status of it. Is it to do? Is it in progress? Is it completed? And then I go into the goal itself and then the type of goal it is and then how I'm going to achieve that goal. I also break it down into quarterly. So is it Q1? Is it Q2? Q3? Q4? I also created a vision board for 2023, but I'm not done making it and I just have a few adjustments I'm not even gonna include in this video, but I highly suggest everyone create a vision board as well. So number one is health and fitness and it's build a healthy routine. And this is something I've really wanted to do for quite some time. I've done it a bit in 2022. I just wanna be more adamant in creating this routine. I've always been in and out, something comes up, I go on a trip, and then I throw out my 80-20 rule, but like I said, I wanna create a healthy lifestyle and this is just having an 80-20 balance. I've also already started, so I just wanna transition it off into the new year. Also be in better shape. I wanna focus more on lifting weights. I used to do it in the beginning of the year and then I stopped. Throughout the rest of the year, I would just go on walks, which I do love and I do wanna continue, but I wanna go back and lift some weights and just get more in shape. Next category is finance. I wanna save 40% of my monthly income. That can be done by just cutting down on my weekday spending. <laughs> I spend a lot of money on just miscellaneous things I don't even know, like just, well I do know, going to restaurants, takeout, um, buying random things that I really don't need. So just cutting down on that. Next is in progress. They have been doing it for this past year and it's to continue investing in ETF index funds. I've also invested in crypto, but I've paused on that for now. I've left my money. I haven't even taken a look at those apps because my money is real low right now. So 
I'm not focusing on that, but I am focusing on ETF index funds and just continue to invest money each month, which is something I've been doing and I want to continue doing it. Next is content creation and I want to get monetized on YouTube. I definitely do think that's achievable for 2023. Um, we need 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers, so I'm on the way. That's something I really do believe I can achieve in 2023 especially just being more consistent in my posting schedule. I've been slacking with my posting, but I really want to post three to four times a month, aka once a week. For content creation is have over 10 paid partnerships. And that is definitely attainable because I've had a couple in 2022. I just want to work with brands that I love, so I'm excited for that. Next content creation is something I'm really dying to do and I have been dying to do for so long now, but I want to attend New York Fashion Week. I just need to post more fashion related content and that'll probably be on TikTok, but anywho. So my next category is career growth and I don't know if I should have put this in finances, is buy my first rental property. This is something I've been talking about manifesting for the past year. I said in 2023, I am buying a property and a rental property, let me clarify. But yeah, just continue saving money for my down payment. And that's all you can really do. Next career growth is continue to grow within the marketing industry. I love what I do. I love working in marketing. Just something new to learn about every day. And then the next career growth is have a certain income by 26. So by my 26th birthday, I wanna have a certain six figure income and I am fairly close. So super excited for that. Next category is personal development and that is travel each quarter. I'm someone who always travels twice, maximum three times a year, but I really wanna start traveling four to five times a year. Second personal development is learn Italian again. I love Italy, I've been four or five times, can't even remember, but it's just one of my favorite places. It's not even one of, it is my favorite place in the whole entire world. I just wanna have like a cute little home there too. One of my rental properties in the future is going to be Italy, but um, I love it so much. And I used to practice the Italian language when I was in university and then I stopped and I really do miss it. And I still have my notebooks and everything from when I used to um, learn. So I really want to get back into it again, even just like 10 minutes a day really does make a difference. So that is one of my goals for 2023. When I go back to Italy sometime next year, I will be speaking Italian again. <laughs> so the third personal development goal is make ceramics again. This is something I started during the pandemic and had an Instagram page. I still do, it's still live, but at least get ceramics. And I loved making ceramics. It was so therapeutic, it was so fun, and I found so much joy in it. And I really do miss doing it. I've just been so busy with life that and just work and everything of that sort. So. I haven't put much time into it. Also, you can't have fake nails. So right now is a great time for me to do it because I don't have any nails on, but you can't have acrylic. You really need to use your thumb especially. So I haven't been doing it, but really miss it. So I'm gonna get back into it. And then the last category is relationships. And this is stay in touch with family and friends. As you get older, it's so busy with your day-to-day -day life that you forget, oh my God, it's been like three months since I talked to this person. So just checking in on family and friends, but yeah so now that i've talked about my notion board we're gonna get into my manifestation journal over time i've realized that there's just no right way to manifest there's just so many ways to manifest some people focus on scripting some create vision boards use crystals so there's just so many different ways i personally love manifest using my journals so i do practice scripting and vision boards i'm a visual person so just being able to see everything i want to come into fruition in front of me definitely helps many people think that you just have to hope and pray and then your manifestations will come true that's just far from the truth but the two main ways to just manifest anything is just to train your brain to believe that you can achieve anything you want in life and to have faith in god i'm someone who truly believes anything i want in life or anything i've ever desired is mine and it's already meant for me and it's just a matter of time i really do believe that there's nothing in this world that i can't get and i just really think it's important that you just don't allow yourself to get stuck in a fixed mindset there's just nothing in this world that you can't get lastly i also think it's really important to practice gratitude it's making sure you're taking time out of your day just reflect upon little things that you're grateful for in life whether it's like waking up in the morning and like doing a little prayer or scripting or just like creating like little journal prompts like I'm grateful for having, I'm grateful for doing, or even meditating. Just, there's this one quote I heard from Danielle Carolyn when I was in like grade 12, like 
or grade 10 or grade, I think it was like grade 11, grade 12, but it's so simple. It's just a quote saying she believed she could, so she did. And that stuck with me since grade 12. And I'm 25 now. So that quote has stuck with me for seven years. And I really do believe you can achieve anything you put your mind to. But thank you so much for listening. And I hope you guys enjoyed my 2023 plan with me goal setting type video. And I really did enjoy filming it. And I'll talk to you guys next week.